There are several reasons you may want to use Adobe Acrobat Reader to collect comments on a document from multiple reviewers. Collecting comments in a single file prevents duplication of work, and sending a PDF for review rather than an unprotected Word file prevents issues with file corruption or formatting glitches. Anyone can use the free version of Adobe Acrobat Reader, and to start your review, you should verify that you have the latest version. If not, pause the video and go to the highlighted website to download the latest version. Now that you have the latest version of Acrobat Reader, you can start your review by opening the PDF you want to edit. Select the comment icon in the toolbar on the right of the screen. If you don't see the comment icon when you open your PDF, click on the arrow to expand the toolbar and all the options should be visible. Once you click on the comment icon, the list of comments in the document will appear. To collapse this, you can click on the arrow to the left of the comment list. The comment toolbar will appear at the top of the screen and contains several tools for editing or commenting on the PDF. We will focus on some of the most commonly used features for basic revisions. To make a comment, you can add a sticky note. If you want to draw attention to some text, you can use the highlighter or underline tool. To propose a deletion, you can use the strike through text feature. And if you want to recommend replacement text, the next tool allows you to strike through and add a note. This can simplify your editing process rather than striking through the text and then adding a separate sticky note comment. To make an addition in a specific place in the text, you could use the insert text at cursor tool, but I recommend using the basic sticky note tool for better visibility, or you could add a text box. If your edits to a particular section include an extensive rewrite, you can compose your new text in a word processor like Microsoft Word. Once the file is saved, you can attach the new document to the PDF in the spot where the new content should be added. This is a good option for attaching new graphics as well. Now that we've reviewed the basic commenting tools, I'll show you how to easily add a comment and adjust the properties of your notes. First, click on the sticky note icon on the toolbar, and then click on the spot in the PDF where you want to add a comment. Type your comment and then click post. To minimize the comment, click on the X in the upper right corner of the pop-up. The sticky note icon appears where you made your comment. When you hover over the icon, you can see your comment and if there are any replies from other reviewers. If you want to move your comment, click and drag the icon to a new location in the PDF. Release your mouse when the icon is where you want it. To adjust the look of the comment icon, right click on the icon and then select properties. There are several options of color choices and icon shapes. You could select various colors for different types of notes, like a red cross for deletions, or you could assign a different color and icon shape to each reviewer. Once you've made your selection, click OK. To edit your comment or reply to another reviewer's comment, right click on the icon and select open pop-up note. You can then edit the text and add or delete as needed. Once the comment is updated, click post and then click the X in the upper right corner of the pop-up. To delete information in the document, click on the Add Note to Replace Text button. Highlight the text that you want to delete, and then right-click on the text and select Open Pop-up Note. 
You can then type your comment, click post, and click the X to close the pop-up. You can also propose a deletion by highlighting the text and hitting the backspace or delete button on your keyboard. Double click on the strike through to add any clarifying comments about your edit. Or you can highlight the text and start typing to add a comment using the insert text at cursor tool. You can then change the color properties of the insertion in the same way as with the sticky note. You can use the comment summary list to respond to other reviewers' comments or modify your own without opening the individual comments. Click the comment you want to modify and then select Edit from the drop-down menu. Make your changes and then click Post. If you want to reply to another reviewer's comment, click on the appropriate comment, type your response, and again, click Post. To delete a comment, right-click on the comment and select Delete. To sum up, use the comment features to clarify your edits or propose topics of discussion with the document author or other reviewers. Use the markup tools for deletions or additions. And if you have a more significant revision to suggest, type up your new text and attach the document to the PDF using the Add a New Attachment tool. Save your edits to the PDF with your name as an identifying addendum to the file name. Or, if you're using the Send for Comments feature to edit the PDF, you can save the file as directed. Happy commenting!